Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you're notified of when we upload new video content, which is always going to be on a regular basis. It'll be one of the first to view, first to like, first to comment, first to share, and all that good stuff there. Okay, so this is a review or a reaction on the EP by uh, Nick Cannon, um, which is called The Miseducation of the Negro You Love to Hate. Okay, so first and foremost, Look, the link is to the album or the EP is in the description box below. But let's get straight into the album artwork, right? And this is volume, look, like this is volume one. I didn't realise that till now, just in the artwork, this is volume one. So there's more to come, I guess. Because um, I remember when I was doing my mixtape series, like the Satan Claus um, series, I think it went up to three or four. Um, then I had the Atlantis and, uh, you know what, this ain't about me. But I, underst I understand... That there's, there should be more. There could be more. Like even from, like for example, when Wiley did his Tunnel Vision mixtape, volume one, two, three, four, and five. Like so, there's different volumes. Anyway, so the artwork is in black and white, and um, you have got an image of Nick Cannon. He's looking to the left, and he's looking. It's like he's looking up. You can only see his face looking up. And I believe he's wearing a hat or a turban with his neck cannon, and obviously it's a turban. Um, so, and it's got like a padlock on it. So, I guess what he's trying to say is, you know, there is your mind is locked or something like that. I don't know. I, I could be misinterpreting it. I don't want to go too deep into the artwork. That's how I'm interpreting it. Um, you know what? Next time when it comes to these artworks, I'm going to make sure I actually um, find out more information first before I and then give a proper review. But I actually I actually like it. You know what I mean? I, I like the artwork. It's, it's very interesting. But anyway... So let's get into the tracks, right? There are seven tracks. So know what it is, used to look up to you, mad off, no love for me, ghetto blues, cut them off, instead of Nipsey. So let me get the ratings out of the way first and foremost, right? I'm gonna give this EP a rating out of let me give it a seven and a half out of ten and the only reason why i'm going to give it seven and a half out of ten is because the content itself is great the productions the production value as well as its quality as well but what let me down was the fact of his delivery now this is just like little Romeo's album, well Romeo Miller's album, um, Hidden Treasure, right? It threw me off when he started to do auto tune. I'm like, yo, whoa, 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 because I don't. Here's the thing: if you're if you already know about that person, right, and you've already heard their music before, in a way, you kind of have a different type of expectation levels for that person or the artist. Doesn't matter who it is, you you've already built a brand, and so you're you're used to it. You're absolutely used to it. I'm not saying the artists can't do other things because they're artists. They're supposed to, you know, do their painting and whatever they want to paint, they can paint. But for me, it's the fact of the auto. Not only did it's, it was the auto tune, and then it's his delivery to me wasn't. It wasn't. A1, like, he can come better than that. Like, he, he can pause. Like, I'm not hating on the, the EP, and I'm not loving on the EP. You understand? Like, it's... I feel like there's more work that could have been done. I feel like... I feel like with, with Nick Cannon, and people say, oh, he can't rap. Blah, 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 blah. Like, shut up about he can't rap. You only say he can't rap because... At the end of the day, you see him as someone that is a comedian or someone that is corny. 
and you also see him as like an actor or a presenter. But if you know him from the Nickelodeon days, it's like, of course, you're not going to try and take him serious. That, but you take Drake serious. Okay, there's some of you that don't take him as serious and see him as corny as well. But you say he can rap. You understand? It's just, anyway, let me not get into that. But yeah, the content, I like the, I like the actual what he was, he was talking about in his, his music. It's just the delivery. Because when it comes to music and you're trying to deliver a message, it's something as powerful as what he has put in this EP, you need to come better. You need to come, the quality needs to be better. Like, I believe, if I remember correctly, there was, I believe, a phone call from Mariah Carey, of course. Um, or maybe not a phone call, but it was like an audio with Mariah Carey. And he was asking, how do you deal with haters, blah, blah, blah. And, um... What else? Then there was something to do with um, with Birdman, and it's in, it's it's actually incredible, pun intended, that Birdman actually mentioned incredible and cash money in the same sentence. It's like you would never picture it. So put some respect on Birdman's name. That that guy is a G. Regardless of whatever you want to think of him, he's a G for what he's done with cash money. Like he's a G. Um, like he's built. Him and his brother brought that, that company up. You gotta respect that. But this is on Nick Cannon now. Even you gotta pick up Nick Cannon's business skills as well. Um Yeah, so that's essentially there was something I think there was one more thing as well. I think he also sampled um I believe it was Nipsey Hustle, which was eerie. Cause the the song um Let me get to it, give me a second. The song instead of Nipsey, yeah, it was eerie. From what he was, from what Nipsey Hussle was talking about, oh man, that is eerie. I, I don't know how to say it. It was just eerie because of his situation. Um. Uh. So yeah. Uh. What else? Then uh, yeah, there's another sample from I believe the minister, the honourable minister Louis Farrakhan. And I think Malcolm X as well. Yeah. I mean, look, for the context of the actual EP, I recommend that you go stream it and listen to it. Just, just listen to the, to the, listen to it. Yeah. For music purposes, in terms of if you want something great overall, then it's not for you really. But if you like something with actual content, then. I say definitely go check it out. I mean, I did give it a seven and a half anyway. Um, but yeah, let's talk about one particular song because I have gone on for way too long than I should have. Um, yeah, let's talk about No Love For Me, which I think that's the one where, he, where Mariah Carey was on. Um, not singing, but yeah. So, you need, as a man, yeah, you should never ever worry or care about whether anyone's got any love for you. Never ever care or worry if, if anyone, anyone, I don't care if, if it's your woman, I don't like, don't care if they've got love for you or not. You need to focus on your personalized mission on earth. You have to become, you have to be a true fiber and alpha male. Forget love. I'm not saying. Love is, alright, cool. Love is what it is, yeah? It's an energy. But you will receive that energy from when you understand who you are. And when you don't really give a fuck, that's when it's going to come, really. Do you understand? Let me give you an example, right? If you click the link in the description box below where it says become a member of the Active Newland Trust, you will get access to online courses such as roles and relationships. In that course, you will learn exactly how roles and relationships actually work. So for example, if you're a man watching this, you will learn how to develop yourself to become a pure thoroughbred alpha male. If you're a woman watching this, you will learn how to become a pure feminine woman. Now as a woman, as a pure feminine woman, it's important for you to actually feel love and to give love. More importantly, to give love, yeah? But you will learn more of that in that course there to do roles and relationships 
and you'll learn exactly how relationships actually work. Another thing is, you know, you learn in the career and business, you learn what your true personalized mission on earth is. Yeah. Once you learn what your personal mission on earth is, what your true purpose is, then by default, what's going to happen is you're going to attract people that actually genuinely have love for you. Yeah, whether you you see it, see them giving it and you receiving it is one thing because giving and receiving, like, that's the next thing anyway. But anyway, listen, if you've got any questions or any topics you'd like for us to discuss in our videos, leave that in the comment section below. And remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.